Well, you can't have everything go flawlessly. So. It's not supposed to look like that. I just got a very flat tire. And by very flat tire, I mean you can see the inside of the wheel. I had to abandon my trailer in a parking lot. My spare tire, I've been having some trouble with, so it wasn't actually on the trailer. Thankfully, it was close to the house. I just ran and grabbed it real fast. But my trailer is sitting in a parking lot, waiting for me to return, and I have a customer waiting for me to drop off a dumpster. <sighs> Always fun. Looks like I have a Pasco truck pulled up behind my trailer. My trailer is at the Pasco Sheriff's Citizen Center. That was the parking lot that was next in line when I first pulled up. So probably have to talk to a couple county workers, but I imagine they'll be pretty chill. Let's uh, pull up and see if they want to talk to me. Well, no one's in the truck. So they either uh, got tired of waiting on me or I'm in their parking space, one or the other. It's not supposed to look like that. Uh, let's get this tire pulled out and get this thing up in the air and get on our way. saying I'm ready for NASCAR, but pretty quick. Pork wrench. I actually just bought this bad boy because I'm about to do a service video and lock her down. Good to go. All right, looks like we're going to survive this one. Now let's get the lock off and uh, get it hooked back up. far over. I gotta fix it. And we're rolling. Just a minor setback. Nothing that could stop the unstoppable Maxco Dumpster. Greatest dumpster company in the history of dumpster companies. Alright, let's go get this dropped off. Look what came in early. These weren't supposed to be here till Friday. The uh, Trans Eagle, no, yeah, okay, yeah. It's a Trans Eagle Trans Hauler HD 18 ply. I have had enough with dealing with my tires. The trailer came with 16 plies, which have been fantastic. I'm not even knocking them. But the spare tire I had to put on for the first time. I got a low tire probably four or five, maybe six months ago uh, for the first time. I took the spare off the spare mount and the tire was not set on the wheel. I don't know if it was just never inflated or if it deflated over time and then it just sat up there. But honestly, I can't see if it was ever mounted, how it lost enough air to unbeat itself from the wheel. But that's a whole nother conversation. The spare tire was no good. I had to go to a tire place, get them to do the air and get it to set on the wheel, put that tire on there. Then a week or so later, that tire's low. Uh, at this point, that tire's been annoying. The tire that I originally had to replace has constantly been a little bit of an issue. A third tire now has gone completely flat. It's got multiple staples and a screw in it. 
couldn't tell you why, but the a couple of them are on the outside edge of the tire. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and say that it's time for 18 plies. I gotta do the trailer maintenance at some point, so I'll probably end up doing all of my axles at the same time that I send those wheels to the shop, attempt to get all the wheels and tires mounted. I'll have it up in the air anyway, I'll be taking the wheels off anyway, and it's gonna take them a minute to do all four wheels and tires. So I am going to attempt to do all that at the same time. We are gonna upgrade to some nicer, more heavy duty tires. So I don't have to keep thinking about it. Today is the Lord's day, but we are out running dumpsters anyway. I've got a roofing job due for today because they start tomorrow, so they wanted it there today. And then I've got a job that's due for tomorrow morning but I think I'm just gonna drop it anyway while I'm running around should make my life a little bit easier it's always nice to get the stuff done ahead of time if I have the dumpster here I'm gonna drop it I've got two 15s here both are going out so all I have is this 20 and that's getting swapped for the other 20 first thing in the morning anyway so we are uh, continuing a nice week of all the dumpsters are gone which is a beautiful thing so now we're doing all the fun stuff. The tires just got in today, today's Sunday, so I can't call to check if they can do them tomorrow, but I am going to try and get them mounted tomorrow, which means I can probably do my axle service tomorrow, but more pressing. Daddy. I need to figure out what's going on with my tarp because it's been crazy slow. It's having a very hard time pulling in. I had them uh replaced the motor on it not long ago but even with a new motor it's acting up so i can tell you for sure that some of the connectors in there are loose because i can fiddle with them and get it to function better i'm going to take that apart and see what's going on replace some connectors most likely and hopefully that just sorts it out this is just a cover that i'm getting to Is there? I know. Well, I'll, I'll let you help me with something. I just got to get these uh, off first. Can you get in here? A bolt. A bolt is like a screw, but it doesn't. So when a screw goes into something, it just attaches. When a bolt goes into something, it needs a nut to hold it on there. So you see, this is a bolt, right? This is a nut. So you put them through a hole and then attach them and then the hole, they don't want to go nowhere. You see? Well, you can tell already Daddy. that's where my problem was I'm gonna change the size of these connectors to fit that better let's take a look at it well connector shot so I'm gonna order a new set they'll be here tomorrow and then I will uh, knock out the rest of this and hopefully get it all sorted out always fun Some supreme drop-off skill if I do say so myself snug right there in the carport so I just uh, dropped that one for my buddy Jose he runs he does dumpsters also but he's mostly a detailing and junk removal business he's doing a big junk removal job like a whole property clean out and today is Sunday 
his dumpster was full and that was the last dumpster he had. Everything else is either got stuff in it or out on a job. So um, he texted our group, requested someone to come on out. I was available. My last can was that 20. So I brought my 20 out to him. I'm uh, gonna let him fill it up. I'll grab it in the morning or sometime in the afternoon and uh, get it dumped. That was impressively perfectly lined up in like one attempt, which is crazy. I backed it up. I adjusted one time when I saw the rollers weren't on track, but I <laughs> just a little bit of skill, but by sheer luck, I was like an inch away from each side of the uh, the awning, the overhang. So worked out really well, got that dropped. Uh, he's gonna get to get his job finished tonight and I get one more last minute booking for the weekend. So uh, all in all, not too bad. Now I do need to get this tarp situated. I've got bungees on it, or no, not bungees. I've got straps on it right now, just holding the tarp down, but I have that whole panel still exposed. That box is off of it at the moment because I don't have the connector to uh, go back on there and I don't need it for a drop off. So I just strapped it down so it was nice and flush. I wasn't snagging or hitting anything on the way. And uh, tomorrow I will hopefully get my tires changed and that tarp fixed because both of those have been my biggest problems and I'm tired of thinking about both of them. So I think that is all for today. Let's go relax a little bit, have some dinner. See you on the next one.